home. Your head is starting to droop. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. Paimon will go find something delicious for you to eat. You wake up once you've put something yummy in your tummy. Of course, just wait here for Paimon. <laughs> it's me. Nada. I'm not the turn name. It seems like my consciousness is connected to yours. Mm -hmm. You may blame me for being a bit too self-indulgent. I was thinking about talking with you, and the next thing I knew, I had made a connection with you. The connection between us is amazing. It's like Flora and the fence it grows upon. Is there anything you need from me? I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. Although you've already helped me with a lot, there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. What is it? Please say thank you to everyone for me. Ah, uh, so that's what this is, what this is about. It'd be better if you could do that yourself. Uh, oh. Is it not convenient for you to do that for me? Some things in the world must be done by yourself. But if I just show up all of a sudden, the people will become all quiet and stiff, won't they? What if I end up scaring them and ruining this wonderful feast? That'd be the last thing I want. It'll be fine. Please don't worry too much. Hmm... Let me think about it. Okay! Have you made up your mind? Yes, I have. That's good. Wait, huh? You said I should go think everyone is myself, right? So... I've decided to borrow your body for the time being. Please don't blame me. The flora also climbs up to the fence to get closer to the sky. So much for confidence. Then at least promise me you won't say anything weird when you're in my body. Pause. Are you awake now? Paimon was just about to bring you the food. It's me. Huh? That voice. Nahida? Uh, hold up. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. Is this also a part of the feast? No, no, of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, you... You know who I am? Yes. I already know every one of you. Nilu, I'll hate them. Sino, Dia, Paimon, and Dunyarzad. Lesser... Lord Kusanali? I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body, so that I could thank all of you in person. Thank you so much for rescuing me. 
Even if that meant placing your own safety in peril, and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia, the Sages, the Doctor, the Balladeer, and even the entirety of Sumeru. Without you, without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation. Had you not helped me to resolve the crisis, not only I, but Sumeru and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. I'm quite fond of this name. It not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. Please, allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lesser Lord Cusinelli, you... You have done so much for Sumeru, and I, I... I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. You don't have to do this. Dinerzad, the suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with us. I... I'm honored to have been able to take part in this plan. I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. See? Just like I said, everybody's very happy to meet you. <laughs>